Hello, Lucas here, back with another video. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars 2002. This is actually my very first retro set. I never got any retro sets before. Um, I only have the instructions, I don't have the box. This is not the box. Um, but yeah, I just love this set. Anyway, let's take a look at the figures. Also, I almost forgot to tell you that I lost Samui, so I don't know what I did with her. But at least I still have those two. So first of the figures is Anakin Skywalker. Um, this is a really nice figure for an old figure. Um, I like the robes, the robes design is perfect. I mean, obviously it isn't too accurate, so the face doesn't have like the, um, like the, the pigtails or something. Um, I'm just kidding, I, I don't know what it's called, like the rope thing that they wear around them, I don't know. But, sorry guys, I had to make a cut. I had to fix the stamp thing, but uh, yeah, um, either way, the figure's really nice. I like how they use the chrome lightsabers. They're so awesome. I wish they still use that. kind of sucks now that they don't use the chrome hilts, but this is a really nice figure. You can see the printing, which is really nice. Um, also, a face print, which looks pretty cool. Next is Obi-Wan, which is the class. I like that classic design. Sorry, guys, my spinner, the thing, keeps on falling off. It's so annoying. Um... It still uses the same lightsaber for, for of Anakin's, but that's fine. I mean, I really like getting these chrome hilts, and this is the only time I ever get them. Um, I don't like the face print. Just don't like it because it's misprinted here. What the? Why is my hands dirty? But um, yeah, this one is a bit misprinted. Like there's a cut. I was never there, and I don't think you can see it on the hairpiece. And yeah, to be honest, this. Is, I don't know why, but these older figures, they, like, feel a bit, like, they feel dusty, like, you can feel it, like, like just touching the figure. I don't know if it's just mine, because, I, yeah, I don't know if it's just mine, but it's a bit dirty. What the heck is that on my fingers? Don't know what this is. Um, I guess it's dirt, but I just keep on feeling it. I don't know what it is. So there are two builds of this set. Let's first take a look at this airspeeder, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks really like, well, the sets that they do these days, it doesn't look so blocky like it normally is. I like how they use the curves, but 2002 is when, like, the figures just, uh, change a lot. The pieces change a lot. Um, these have these window designs, which, yeah, you can move it up and down individually. It's really nice, but nowadays it probably just use, like, if they ever make a set like this, probably just use, like, a windshield thing. Or, uh, the best part are these chrome cups. They're really nice. I just really like this set. Oh, I love it so much. I don't know what to say. Um, but there's also a little trunk here, like a compartment. I like the little engine design. This is actually like, I call it the grill piece because it looked like a grill thing. But, ow, I hurt my fingers. But I like this piece because I, this isn't like the traditional red they use. This is kind of like an orange, transparent orange. Um, and then here... It's just a little compartment. You can maybe put you can put the lightsabers there, but you're gonna have to assemble them. Here's just a space for your figures, so you can put Anakin in there. Um, let's see. You can put Anakin and Obi Wan on the seats if you like, but it's a bit hard. So I don't know why, but it's just a bit hard to put them on these like pretty worn down legs. Um, there's like some pretty cool French printing here. Um, there's like printing here. Here it's just pretty rough. Like, you can hear it, it's rough. Like these, like, little, I don't know, these are supposed to be like vents, that's what I'll call it, and they just move freely. But now let's take a look at the second build. Like I said, I don't have Zamui, so that's so sad, but at least I have her spaceship, um, which looks pretty cool. Why don't, I kind of want to start off with a play feature, which you might think, what the, like, why are these wings so flimsy? I just don't like that. But the reason why they did it is that you can see these, they move, and the reason why is because if you push back, the, this, these wings, it's a play feature. Finally, they use play features in these older sets. But yeah, these just are little wings right here, which have some printing on them. But this still looks really nice without it because it looks like a pod. I really like it. Um, you can see the play feature just goes on these Technic pins. And then there's like a Technic feature in the middle, so if you push back, it will pull back as well. And these can move separately, or you can just put it on a brick or move it on your own. 
There's also a little cockpit section where you can put your figure, which has like a little control there. And then to put it back, all you do is just simply slide it in, which just goes on these two by two tiles. And yeah, you can just easily slide them in and it just inserts. So let me, let me show you how that does. So you just do that and it just inserts properly. You can even do it by easily, just easily, just simply just pushing it in. It will just go in and it is a bit secure so it, money, it won't go back. So that's the point of these. But it is a bit flimsy if you look at that top because there's no studs there. And if there were studs, it wouldn't have to get that feature. But that's it for the build of the set. And I'll take a look at the instructions. I actually love this. Oh my god. I wish I got all of these like retro sets. They're so nice. Um, but here's the instructions, which are really nice. I'm annoyed that they don't show the screen caps anymore. Like you can see, it's not there. I don't know why, but I like how the minifigures, how they assemble it is animated. Also the pieces, like it looks like a cartoon. It has a cartoony design compared to the others. No screen caps and this is actually just one entire instructions because it actually is just one entire instruction for both builds and you can see Zamuso over there. Um, but you can see the back. Here has some ads, um, there's like this ad, some ad for some of the Attack of the Clone sets, which has that Anakin, but this time with the cape. There's this set, this other set, there's this set, uh, just a bunch of cool Lego sets right here, which look really nice. Um, I, I, I want to get this set, it looks cool, like this ship. Also this one, seems okay, um, but I don't think I'll get it. This one, might get, I don't know. But the two Return of the Jedi sets, I will get. But uh, either way, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more LEGO Star Wars videos, leave me a comment down below. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.